When it comes to filtering data in Power Automate, are you doing it the right way or the wrong way? Are you sure? Well, let me show you the wrong way and then I'll show you the right way and you can make sure that you're on the right track. Okay, so here we have a flow that's manually triggered. We're not worried about triggers. And we're just doing a SharePoint get items, all right? So we have our site and our list and nothing else set. Down here, we're going to put in a compose where we're gonna check the length of the response. This will tell me how many items we get back. And then we have the for each. So the for each is going to loop through the table of data that came back from get items, right? All the data from my list. And then we're just gonna do a simple condition here to check to see where department is equal to executive. And if it's yes, it'll be on the compose side here. And we'll be able to validate by looking at the first name and the department. Very simple flow, but this is what we see a lot of people do when it comes to filtering their data. Whether it's SharePoint, SQL, Dataverse, it doesn't matter. So let's do a test real quick. All right, now it's done. You can see that, yep, it ran. It took you know, five or six seconds. If we look at the compose, we got 17 items back from the SharePoint list. We go down here to for each, and then we flip through here. We're gonna be able to flip through. We won't go through all of them, but I can tell you that the four executives got found correctly, right? They went through one at a time, processed all 17 records, right? So this step ran 17 times to find the four executives. And so I could have put them into a variable or something like that. This is the wrong way to do it. You should not be doing this type of condition to find your data. The biggest problem being is that this you know, ran fairly quickly because I only had 17 people on my list. But what if I'd had 17,000? That would have taken a really long time. So then what's the more correct way to do this? So let's edit our flow. In your get items actions, often there'll be a filter query. So here we're going to just say, I want to do column name, so department, EQ, not the equal symbol, but EQ, the letters, and then single quotes, executive, and then a single quote. This will tell the data source to do the query. So instead of my flow processing all those items here in a loop, in this case, the SharePoint server will do the query. And instead of returning all 17 items to the flow, it's going to only return the four that match. Let's do a save and test here to make sure that I'm correct. All right, so our flow ran. And now if we look at our uh, compose here, we're gonna see that we only had four, right? So instead of 17, it says four here, and we still did the for each loop, it only went four times. In reality, if we edit our flow again, now that we know that it works, we would want to completely delete this for each because we don't need it anymore. Because get items is returning the filtered list of data already, and now we can take whatever action with that we would want. All right, so two pieces of advice if this is interesting to you. One, there is a link below to the full length video. So go watch that if you want to learn how to do all the different columns and get the nitty gritty of how this works. Two, I've got training classes, right? Sign up for one of my live training classes. Come join me, training.powerapps911.com, and we can work together to make sure you learn this and a bunch of other cool stuff.